Well, just a two quick uh, acknowledgement. Uh, first of all, uh, my colleague, uh, clearly, uh, Professor Wong is not here. Uh, he and his family are enjoying this uh, long Chinese National Day uh, Golden Week holiday in China. So, uh, so he won't be able to join me. Uh, and also, the study is supported by uh, summer travel uh, from uh, Seeger's Center for uh, Asian Studies. And this is a study we did in July. And it's still in a very preliminary uh, 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 writing stage. And so uh, we're still going through the field notes and also uh, listening to the tapes and uh, uh, researching our archives. And so this is uh, what I'm going to do uh, is to uh, basically to present outline of the paper we're going to write uh, with some uh, preliminary uh, thoughts we think we can expand. Now, uh, the study is on uh, tourism uh, driven mixed use development. Uh, mixed use development driven by tourism has been a growing trend of integrated and the sustainable destination development around the world. Uh, the development of a single purpose of freestanding hotels in resort and the urban areas has now been extended to uh, integrated mixed use projects that include multiple uh, facilities and amenities catering to both tourists and the local residents. Um, just in the, in the uh, Washington DC metro area, we actually have a two big mixed use projects in, in the uh, local area. Across the river, we have the National Harbor, and then in the city, we have a Southwest Waterfront project. And so two pretty big uh, mixed use projects right in our neighborhood. Now in China, uh, this development is called the Tourism Vacation District. So I'm going to switch to their term, uh, TVD. And so this is uh, a development has been around for uh, 20 some years, originally uh, initiated at the national level uh, in 1992 uh, with the initial 12 national tourism vacation districts in different parts of the uh, country. Originally, the concept was to attract uh, international tourists to spend longer time in China and uh, to increase the length of stay uh, for various des destinations in, uh, in the country. Now, uh, since then, uh, TVD development has been intensified in the last 10 years due to a uh, number of uh, economic uh, social developments in China, uh, primarily structural change in, in the economy, uh, industry transformation, industry upgrading uh, to continue drive the economic development in China, and also changing consumer behaviors uh, in the last 10 years because the Chinese consumers has become quite sophisticated and uh, you know the, the transformation uh, occurred from the sightseeing to now leisure tourism for differentiated services and experiences. And so especially the domestic market, as you can see the chart on your uh, right, uh, the, the phenomenal growth in the, in, uh, in the domestic market alone, uh, last year uh, it, it was reported 3.6 billion uh, person trip uh, in China. Uh, within the Chinese borders as a domestic tourist. And so, so with you know, the, the uh, rapid development of this market and the tourists you know, search for uh, different products, search for uh, deep experience, so around the country. Oops. And so uh, what we did, we uh, focused on the particular province right outside of Shanghai, and this is uh, very interesting case, Jiangsu province alone has 33 TVDs, and one at the national level, uh, Taihu Lake uh, National TVD, and then uh, the other 33 have been approved, developed, and under development by provincial and the municipal governments. Now the motivations for doing those mixed use you know, developments in different uh, locations uh, due to a resource endowment, uh, those locations have uh, either natural resources and cultural resources, 
uh, they can leverage, and also industry upgrading. Uh, they want to transform their tourism industry from pure, a simple sightseeing, you know, very short length of stay, and you know, a less expenditures to this resort, expanded, integrated, and to attract you know, longer stay for the tourists and offering different products and the services. Uh, Shanghai is here, Suzhou is here. And so half hour by you know, high rail, high speed train, and, <laughs> and uh, real close, you know, uh, less than two hours drive, uh, you know, a, a big market close by. And also, uh, performance measures for local government is very interesting. In the past, local government was measured by GDP, by local tax revenues. And now they have a measure for green industry. And so tourism now is a big green industry. And all the local governments quickly you know, transform to develop those tourism projects and to attract tourism uh, markets. And also, some of the richest county uh, level cities in, in the country in Suzhou. The three cases we've been studying are uh, Taichang and uh, uh, Changshu are uh, two of the top five richest counties in the country. And so they have the money, basically, uh, resources to do that. And also there's a peer pressure. You know, your neighboring city is doing one, you want to do one too. And so, so this is such a race to developing those uh, TVDs in this province. And this is uh, one, uh, one of the example, uh, one of the case. Uh, this is a qualitative study uh, using three uh, cases. So it's a multiple case study. And so this is the uh, uh, Suzhou Yangchenghu uh, TVD. It's a, uh, it's a big peninsula. And, and so just to give you uh, the, the scope and the size of this project, I did a comparison table to compare this project with our National Harbor. Uh, not too far. As you can see, uh, the area of uh, Yangchenghu TVD uh, occupies about 25.3 square kilometers uh, with uh, eight square kilometers of the lake area. And the National Harbor is about 1.2 square kilometers. So the size, as you can just you know, compare. And so I'm not going into details about those projects. Uh, they are very similar in terms of the, uh, the projects in each uh, development. Now, uh, conceptually, uh, uh, we are approaching this by, I think, using the industrial district concept. Uh, going back to the sem seminal work by uh, Marshall and talking about you know, the commons, uh, uh, external benefits to firms in a particular location because locally endowed natural and uh, cultural resources and the newly developed infrastructure by local government. You see the infrastructure. This is a $1.6 million visitor center. And this is the bike trail around the lake, around the peninsula, uh, about 20, no, about 18 kilometers long and costing about 40 million US dollars. And so brand new infrastructure, and so the walking trail, lots of those. And so in this a big TVD. So, and then uh, appeal to consumers and attract firms to serve tourist market to settle in the district. And also, it also has a characteristic of inter-firm knowledge sharing and the transfer because they share market information, do marketing together. And so with all those characteristics of uh, industrial uh, district. And then in terms of uh, local government involvement, uh, those projects primarily driven by local government. And we found the three models in terms of governance. Uh, one is called the parallel model. Uh, this TVD commu uh, management commu uh, committee uh, is parallel to the local township uh, government, and so it's uh, separated. And then the second model is called, I, we call it a two-in-one. Uh, that's 
that is a combination of TVB and also the local township. So one government uh, governing the district and also the local community. And then the third one is called the two-level model. It is a governance by two levels of the local government, the township and then the city. And so, so these are three different models for governing the uh, TVDs. And then looking at the particular TVD as an organization, and then we found TVD interorganizational governance. Uh, using Williamson's the seminal work for institutional governance. And we found the hierarchical rules by the TVD community committee. Uh, and then we found a lot of regional govern uh, re relational governance, uh, primarily in relational norms. And I go back to Popo and uh, Zenger's work. Uh, implicit rules and understanding tied to unique circumstances for you know, governing different business activities and also embedding economic relations into a wider social network conditioned by all kinds of relations. There are a lot of nuances that I won't be able to get into. Uh, finally, we also found the nested market governance uh, in uh, Yang Zhenghu uh, TVD because there is an outlet, shopping outlet, managed by a sister village from London. So they like a free zone, free trade zone in this big TVD running their own business. And so the TVD MC really does not bother them. And they do their own things, marketing, running, you know, those brands. And you have most of the brands they are coach, uh, Gucci, you know, all of those international brand. So it's a fascinating case. And then finally, just some uh, uh, concluding <laughs> comments. And there's uh, still lots of challenges facing those big projects. The market is very slow to catch up. And early entrants are state-owned enterprises. And the current developers are slowing down its development pace because the market is not there. And then you have some several committed big developers are slow to start their projects. And so, so we can all tie those to governance and to many of those market uh, conditions and in those particular case. Just want to uh, thank you for. <laughs> <laughs>